Content Update Tracker is a plugin that helps you with updating your posts and pages and making sure that your content always stays fresh and relevant. You can find the plugin in the official WordPress plugin repository, or you can also find it by clicking on plugins here in your WordPress dashboard. And then on top, click on Add New. And in the search field on the right side, simply search for Content Update Tracker. You should then be able to find the free Content Update Tracker plugin right here by Marcel easily. To install Content Update Tracker, you can then simply click on where it says Install Now. Once you've done that, wait for a few seconds and then click on Activate to activate the plugin. If the activation was successful, it will then say Plugin Activated. Once that is the case, on the left side in your WordPress backend, you will then find the plugin right in this list here. Simply click on it to open up the dashboard of the plugin. You will then see a dashboard that looks like this here. Now let's have a look at all the specific info and sections of this dashboard. We're going to start with this big table that you can find here at the bottom. After installation, what happens is that Content Update Tracker will actually search all your posts and pages and will then list them here in this plugin. Now let's have a look at the different columns of the table. First of all, we have the title column. In this column, you can see the title of each of your posts and pages. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Then the second column right here is the edit column. If you click on edit right here for any of these posts or pages, this will take you directly to the edit page. So whenever you would like to update one of these contents right here, you can simply click on edit and this will take you directly into that post or page. Next we have the visit column. If you click on visit, this will simply bring you to the live version of that post or page. After that we have the so-called last updated column. And this is really the most important column in this table. Because here you can find the last updated date for each and every post and page on your website. And the first post, and the first post that is going to be listed here in the table is actually going to be the post that did not get an update for the longest time. So as you can see this post is from 2021. And when we scroll down, we suddenly have posts from 2022, 2023, and if you go to the end of the table, you will notice that the last post that we find right here is indeed very recent. So the whole table is ordered in a way that first you see the post that has not been updated for the longest time, and the last post or page that you will see right here is going to be the one that has been updated the most recently. The reason why it's not ordered the other way around is simply because we want to focus on posts that have not been updated for a very long time. Because this is exactly where we should invest our time to make sure that all of our content is up to date. The older a post or page is without getting any updates, the more likely it is that we will need to perform an update to, to make sure that the post is up to date and will rank better in Google and other search engines. Now, after the last updated column here, we also have a notes column. I'm going to talk about this a little bit later on. Then we have author, which will simply give you the author for each specific post or page. After that, we have word count, which gives you the word count for each article. And last but not least, we also have the action column, which will help you to mark a post or page as updated. However, as we're going to see in a moment, you probably don't even need to use it because in the background, the plugin will actually automatically update this list whenever you update a post or page in WordPress. And that is whenever in a specific post or page, you click on the update button. Now let's talk about how the plugin actually categorizes your posts and pages. I've already told you about the order and I also told you that from the get go, all the posts and pages are actually listed here in this list. However, we also have some filter methods that will let you filter the results. And we actually have four different categories. The categories that the plugin is using are green, yellow, orange, and red. And these categories are going to help you to prioritize your content updates. Let's start with green. In the green category, you will find all the posts and pages that have been updated in the last three months. In the yellow category, you will only find posts that have been updated in the last three to six months. And then in the orange category, you will find all the posts and pages that have been updated in the last 6 to 12 months. And finally in the red category, you will find all the posts that have not been updated for at least 12 months. Now these categories are also represented by this graph here on the right side. This is extremely useful because this will show you at a glance how fresh your content actually is. If most of the content on your website is in the red category here for example, then this will tell you that a lot of content on your website is not up to date, which is obviously not a good sign. On the contrary, if you have a lot of posts and pages that fall into the green category, this will tell you that you're doing an awesome job with content updates on your website. 
So in my case here with this website right here, I barely have any posts that fall under the green category, which is definitely not a good sign and shows me that there is some urgent work that needs to be done on this website to make sure that the content is fresh. Now below our graph right here, on the left side we actually have this filter. And with the help of this filter right here, we can actually filter our table to only show us one of these four categories that we just talked about. So when I click on this here, I can change this to yellow for example. And the beauty of that is now that below, in our table now, we only get to see all the posts that fall under the yellow category. So like this, it's very easy to prioritize your update work. So as posts that fall under the red category are actually the posts that haven't been updated for the longest time, it makes sense to start from there. So under filter by color, I would simply put this to red. I will then see all these posts that haven't been updated for ages. And this is actually a very good starting point for you to start with updates from there. One way to do that now would simply be to work through that list here one by one, starting with the post on top here because this is the one that hasn't been updated for the longest time. So now let me show you exactly how you will go about updating a post now with the help of the Content Update Tracker WordPress plugin. So in our list here, let's say I would like to tackle this first post here in the list. The first thing I would do is to click here on Edit. This will get us to the back end of that very post and we can now start editing this post. We could add sentences, delete sentences, maybe add some pictures, whatever. The important thing is that whenever you did the update, you will actually click on the update button. So let me just quickly perform a very minor change. For example, instead of saying, let's take an example here, I would say something like, let's have a look at an example. And once I've done that, I will click on update here, as I just mentioned. Now for the moment, let's just remember that this post is called how to multiply variables in Python. Next, let us go back to our plugin. And as you can see in our list here, how to multiply variables in Python is still in this list. However, as we updated it, we don't want it to be here anymore because now it should actually move into the green category because we have performed this update, right? So after performing an update, there are two ways for you to make sure that this actually happened. First of all, in the action column right here, you could simply click on update it. In this case, the post is going to disappear from here and you will then only find it in the green category. However, if you don't want to perform this action manually, then the plugin actually also does this automatically for you. And if you prefer that way, actually all you need to do is to refresh the page, just like this. Now after refreshing, I have to make sure that the filter is the same as before, so I'll go back to red. And as you can see, the post that we just worked on is actually gone. It's not here anymore because it has been automatically put in the green category. And to double check that, we could change here to green. And now we should actually find it at the very end of this list because it is the most recent post that we updated, right? So let's go and have a look. And sure enough, here we can find our post that we just updated. And this was the basic functionality of the WordPress Content Update Tracker plugin. However, this plugin has a lot more features that I would like to show you. First of all, let's talk about this filter option here in the upper right corner of the dashboard. First of all, before you're going to use that, make sure that filter by color here is actually set to all. Once you've done that, with the help of this filter here, you can actually search for specific posts and pages on your website. This is extremely useful in case you would just like to work on specific articles on your website instead of working your way through through all articles on your website. For example, let's say I have a lot of Instagram related content on my website. Then I could simply search for Instagram right here. And immediately our list here is filtered for only Instagram related content. So as you can see here in this list, all these articles are actually about something Instagram related. And whenever you're updating content, then there's obviously a chance that you would like to do this topic based. So for example, maybe first you would just like to work through all Instagram related posts. And with this filter, you can easily do that. Another thing that you could do is to search for something like 2023, for example. And if the year is something that you often put into your article titles, then this can be extremely useful to update your content. Because now, as you all know, we already have 2024. And it's never a good look to have articles that still have 2023 in the title. So like this, I can easily filter out all the articles that still have 2023 in the title and adjust and update them accordingly. Now there are two more features of Content Update Tracker that I would like to present to you in more detail. The first feature is the so-called Notes feature. You can find it in the table right here. With the help of the notes feature, you can leave individual notes for each and every post and page on your website. 
These nodes can be accessed here from the dashboard, but also directly in the post itself. So let us open up the backend again here from the how to check if a variable exists in Python post. So I'll just click here on edit. And when I scroll down here, you will see that we have a notes field right here. This is very useful because now I can leave a specific note for this article right here. For example, when I perform an update on this article, I could leave some notes regarding that update. For example, I could say, updated the intro, truncated the outro, um, added a few pictures, uh, corrected the text with the help of Grammarly, and stuff like that. And at the end, I could also include the date. So let's put the date of today. And then I just make sure to click on save. And just like that, we have a nice note in our post. And the next time I will come back to this post, I can just have a look at the notes right here to better understand what I did in the last update of that post. Now, if you have a whole team of people working on your posts, then you could obviously also use this for instructions. So instead of having something like this, I could also use the notes to give instructions for other people on what they should adjust when updating this post. So I could say something like, please truncate the intro, make sure the text is not longer than 1500 characters, add two nice images, and maybe add some key takeaways. And just like that, I left a nice note so that the people that are going to work on this post actually will know what to do. Whenever you saved something right here, when you go back to the dashboard and then open notes right there, you will see that the note that we've just written appears here as well, which is great. And this is it for the notes feature. Now the last feature of content update tracker that I would like to talk about is this export section right here. And this does exactly what you would think it would do. With the help of these buttons right here, you can easily export all the important update info. So first of all, you could click on export all. And what this does is it will simply export this whole list right here, which will give you a really nice overview of all of your posts and pages on your website. This is how it's going to look like. You can use the free online software called Google Sheets to open it up. You will basically get the whole list in a CSV format just like this. And you could then, for example, share this file with your colleagues and freelancers that are working on these updates. For each post, you will get the title, the last updated date, the word count, and even the changed words. The changed words indicator is going to show you how much has changed in the last update. So for example, if it says plus 166, then this means that in the last update, 166 words have been adjusted in some way or another. This can be a good indicator to understand how big an update actually was. Because if it just says, for example, plus two, then you can be sure that this was just a very minor update. This is extremely important to know, because if you don't know that, you have no idea how much has been changed in an update. An update could literally be one changed word or maybe 2000. And without an indicator like that, you would have no idea which is actually the case. So, as I just explained, you could export everything by using export all here. However, you can also just export individual categories by using these buttons right here. So, using this button right here, you could also just export all the posts and pages that fall under the green category, or the yellow category, the orange category, or the red category. And if you're using Microsoft Excel instead of Google Sheets, then you can use these buttons here below instead. And that's actually all you need to know about the Content Update Tracker plugin as it is at the very moment. But please rest assured that there will be a lot of different updates in the near future. I'm working on a lot of cool stuff to make this plugin even better. So please stay tuned. Also, if you enjoyed this video or simply if you like this plugin, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Have a good one. Bye.